Kiefer Herzig from Cordynamics Physical Therapy in Englewood, New Jersey. We're going to do some standing abdominal workouts today, some exercises that you can do during your pregnancy. You can modify at any time. Some of them are going to be single leg in rotation, so you might have to make them double leg stance or less of a rotation, and we'll talk about it as we go along. So first we're going to just start with our general crunch. You can place your hands just gently behind your, um, your head. And uh, you can also modify with your shoulders or cross, whatever feels comfortable. And we're just gonna go down and up as if we were doing a crunch. So I'd add in a little bit of a pelvic tilt backwards. And come on down from the side. It would look like this. So you can see I'm just, my knees are not um, fully locked. And I'm getting some motion from my pelvis. Good. So you should feel the belly pulling in as you crunch down. Do anywhere from 10 to 15 of these. Then we're gonna go into a single leg march. Before you even do the single leg march, you can just practice the engagement of the belly. You can imagine pulling the belly or the baby closer to you and letting it go. Pulling inward and letting it go. So the movement you wanna see really is low and middle not everything up high um, in your upper abdomen, okay? So get that muscle engagement, pull in, not 100%, but in enough that you can raise your right leg straight up. As the belly grows, the leg won't go up as high. You're welcome to use a wall for balance or chairs, whatever you need. You're also welcome to put your arms out or up if you have that in your practice. If you want to make it more challenging, just raise the leg, do a toe tap, and raise the other one. Or wait, keep raising it again, sorry. Again up, so you're not going to fully rest. Again, belly engage, raise that leg, watch your balance. Good, I'm going to swap to the other one. My disclaimer is I'm really bad at counting my exercises, especially when I'm doing these videos. So work, start with five, move to eight, get to 10, 12, that's awesome. Good, keep on coming up. Keep that belly engaged, raise the knee up. If the knee goes up a little higher than the hip, that's even better. But again, belly's gonna stop you that at some point. Good, last two. And one. Good. If you want to advance from that, you're welcome to bring your knee up, straighten, back, and down. Knee, oop, see? Up, straighten, back, and down. Straighten, back, and down. Start with a few of these. You see, even I lose my balance. Up, straighten. If you're a little bit more wobbly, definitely use some support for yourself. Try to master the single leg march before you do these. Down. Good. In the next few exercises, we'll still be standing, but now we're gonna add some side bending and rotation. So again, Use the range that you have and what you feel comfortable. If you think your belly muscles are doing something odd or it's hurting your back, make a modification if that's still not working for you. Speak to a healthcare professional or just skip that exercise. We're gonna go back to the arms up. Again, the modifications can be on your shoulders, across your um, chest, or even leave them down. Very gently, you're not even gonna grasp anything, and we're going to side bend. One side lengthens, the other side shortens. Keep the belly gently hugged in. Remember like the baby's being pulled in, you're hugging the baby. Got a few more. Last two. Good, and then the other side. Good, so 
and how my right side is lengthening, my left side is shortening. My belly in the front is pulled in gently. And you can use, my hips are probably, my feet are probably hip width apart. You can even look at them. If you need a little bit more base of support, you can, less base of support will challenge your balance. When we challenge our balance, we also challenge our core. And last one. So now we're gonna throw some movement from our whole body and our legs and our arms. We're gonna do cross punches. If the cross punches are too much of a rotation for you, you can do forward punches. So the cross ones would look like all the way to the side, again, just like you did in uh, kickboxing classes. You can make it faster, get a little bit of cardio, or make it slower. So the movement is, again, with the obliques. If you see that your belly is being pushed out, see if you can engage it more. And if it's too much rotation, you're gonna go forward. As you can see, I'm still moving my legs, so I'm getting a lower leg movement as well as my abdominals going side to side. So again, fully across or straight forward. So let's make some diagonal and rotation. These might be a little too advanced for some people, especially because it's gonna challenge their balance. We're going to, again, bring the hands up, if you can, and we're gonna to rotate to my left side, and then I'm gonna raise my knee up. So I'm gonna go up with the knee, across with my elbow. Again, this is gonna be a little bit different as your belly grows. So whatever you have, and you see my base of support is pretty wide in these. So that helps me to avoid any falling down. And then the other side.